Is it fair to say that you're not going to be naming China a currency manipulator anytime soon? Uh, again, what it's fair to say is, first of all, I've had a terrific conversation with my counterparts there. Mm -hmm. um, I look forward to meeting them. Um, we have a process within Treasury where we go through and, and look at currency manipulation across the board, and we'll go through that, that process. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that as we have in the past, and we're not making any judgments until we continue that process. Do you have any thoughts on the XM Bank, um, just in, the Export-Import Bank? It's something that big exporters in the United States have, have hoped to see some support for. What, what, I, I don't know what your thoughts are on it. Um, I, I've talked to the President about it. It's something we're looking at. Um, you know, it's obviously stalled at the moment. I think there's a lot of concerns historically about the XM Bank, and is it just subsidizing certain large corporations? Mm -hmm. And that's not something we're interested in doing. On the other hand, we're going to take a serious look at, and to the extent that we think the Export-Import Bank can be competitive in helping mm -hmm. small and medium-sized businesses uh, export, that's something that's important. So I think, as you know, right now we have a situation where they can make loans up to $10 million. Right. They're doing that. They're doing plenty of them. And uh, I already have a team looking at what the impact is on the economy if we expanded that. Fannie and Freddie, it's been a huge issue that, that people have kind of been swirling around. It's hard to say exactly where the administration stands on it, but you have been committed to housing finance reform. Can you tell us how you come down on that and what sort of time frame we should expect? Sure. So, I mean, I'd say, you know, again, something I've, I've already started working on. I met with Mel Watt this week. We had a very good conversation. Uh, I've met with Jeb Henserling. We've talked about the various different issues. So, again, I think, as I've said before, I'm committed that under this administration we're going to have housing reform so that we don't just leave these entities the way they are. They've been sitting there for too long of a period of time, and we need a solution. And we're going to look at this. I think this will be one of the areas where hopefully we will have a bipartisan solution. Um, I think there's a lot of people that share the view that we need to do something with them. There are different views. And as I said, you know, I, I've already reached out to people. We have a team internally that we've already assigned. So th this is something we're going to study carefully. So I, I don't think you're going to see something right away from us, whereas tax reform is a near-term issue. But this is, this is definitely on the agenda. You know, we, we got a lot of things to do here. I mean, there's housing reform, there's cybersecurity. Um, I spent a lot of time on technology. It's a big priority for me to make sure, whether it's the IRS, that we protect people's records. We got to we got to update the systems at the IRS. We need to make sure that the banking infrastructure is safe. So, you know, there, there's a lot of things on my to-do list. Yeah, obviously, you have a huge to-do list. You have a very busy day. I want to thank you for your time. But before we let you go, um, have you been working on your signature for the I have dollar. indeed. I, ha I have indeed. I, my, my signature was great before because nobody could ever copy it. Yeah, it was a but, lot of uh, loops. But I, I was actually at a dinner, and everybody at the dinner like signed the menu and passed it around. <laughs> and someone said to me, whose signature is this? And I realized it was mine that nobody could read it. So uh, my, my kids and others have encouraged me to, uh, to have a new signature. So I've been practicing it, so it'll be nice and neat on the money. Can you show us? I have a Sharpie here. Uh, I, I, can, I, I can. Here you go. Now, this is a little dangerous because, you know, I, I don't want you copying it. No, but, no. Uh, my... I'll give you this is my old signature, and this is my new signature. Much so improved. You can Let say, me just show the camera you know, kind of very, very, very different. That is a much <laughs> improved signature. Uh, well, Mr. Mnuchin, I want to thank you very much for your time today. Uh, truly appreciate your being with us. And obviously, you have a lot of news to get to. We'll let you get to work. And we thank you for coming to visit. Soon. And I hope to see you again here soon. And thank you very much again. Stephen Mnuchin is the 77th Treasury Secretary. This is his first television interview. And uh, guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio. But sir, we appreciate your time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.